Hey guys! Alright, so we're back here for more Banjo-Kazooie Grunny's Revenge. And we have one more thing we want to do before we go to uh, open the new world, and let's use our final empty honeycombs to uh, give Honeybee some of that good stuff and get our last three, two... No, we had six before, so I think that added two, so we should be at eight now. I don't know. We got we got more lives, which means we can take more hits and die less quickly than before, but still die. Uh, well, this should be it. We got all 60 jiggies, all 600 notes, uh, all the empty honeycombs. Let's talk to the jiggy priest one last time. You have collected enough jiggies to enter Grunty's stronghold. I will open the gateway for you. Please carry this jiggy to the altar and don't forget like that one time when I walked right out the door and didn't come back in and actually open the world so then I had to come back in and do the thing again and then open the world. Because you gotta talk to him for him to open that door so I had to do it the second time. Ugh, but this will be it. This will open Grunty's lair as it's being built. Kinda. Now we can get to that witchy warp because... This isn't a really, it isn't really a world, it's more of a final challenge. Because as you can already tell by the fact that I've talked about how we have all the notes, we already have all the notes and the jiggies. So there are no notes and jiggies here. We just gotta go fight Grunty, but I think you know what that means because we've tried to do this before. So let's get them fire eggs out. Shoot, shoot that thing. But we can't... Hold on. Ah! Okay. But we need our ice eggs. Because we gotta go up here. Actually, let's let's take the quick way. I say the quick way, and then I end up going all the way over here. Okay, let's just run through that guy. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta get rid of the fire. The fire's too hot. Too hot to handle that. Okay, so we're gonna stand back here and do it. That way we have a little bit of leeway. Uh, can run a little bit faster, but it shouldn't be no thing. Okay, now we're up here. Let's collect our eggs again. Get all of our eggs in a row and take the witchy warp to Grunty's, grunt, 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 Grunty's, you know, the thing where Grunty live and where her bed's a TV is. Yeah, stop the bear, my plans are drastic. If this won't work, you know what to do, cause I'll be counting on plan two. All right, so now we have another fight with Grunty. She has a lot of health, and that's pretty much gonna be the style of these fights. And she's gonna stop to taunt us, because that's just what Grunty does. She is a talker, and she likes to make sure that we know how beaten we are, even when we're winning. Classic Grunty move. But, you know, it's it's kind of to be expected that we would have basically a... Ow, damn. Basically a boss fight that we already did. Because, you know, they kind of created the grunty fights that they wanted, and then we were uh, more or less just going to work with variations on those throughout the game. <clears throat> but it's fine. It's kind of a combination of uh, a couple of the fights. I've seen people do this fight using the Talon Trot, but you shouldn't need it. She's not that hard. You could just roll at the end. Um, now she's gonna run around and do that. She just kind of randomly moves, so just stay away. Ah, she'll do it again. That is the one problem. Also, try not to die. Because if you die during this fight, she will you will have to start back in Spiral Mountain, which is not my favorite. To be honest, I find that very annoying. But, you know, it is what it is. They were working unlimited hardware, man. They gotta make what they can do. But I think I'm done talking about what I... Talking about limitations here. I'm just trying to enjoy this banjo game. Don't think you have beaten me so quick. I've got a plan. I'm not so thick. Oh, but thick is good, Grunty. Alright, so we took some damage there. Not not really a fan of that, but alright. In true Banjo fashion, you know what it's time for. It's time for quiz shows. This is more in line with the Tower of Tragedy from Banjo-Tooie instead of the uh, 
Furnace O Fun. So, more just answering questions and nothing really. Castle, hassle, floor, test, brain, little more. When I answer correct with button, you can select. I'm gonna say. Oh. Well, I screwed that up. That's a transformation sound. Uh, can I beat this game? Maybe. Maybe not. Let's do it. Alright, time for slides. But I gotta get two out of three. Because I uh, already missed one, because I'm really good. It's okay, though. Yeah, just gotta dodge the spikes. There we go. Alright, two out of three. Think we got it. Think we slid down into the uh, castle DMs. Get the answer right. Okay. Now it's time to fight Klungo again. Her, her, her. So Baron Bird think they can beat Mistress. Klungo make sure they never get a chance to find out. I don't just think I can, Klungo. I know I can. Okay, those things can be destroyed with fire eggs. I'll do another round. Oh my god. Klungo mint. There we go. Glungo must stop Bear and Bird. Yeah, Mistress Grunty challenge calling Grunty. <sighs> Alright. So that having to uh I wasn't explaining this during the fight, but you can you you have to use the opposite kind of egg to kill the ghosts, which I guess we learned in uh that one thing. Um Sorry about that, I had to cut away for a sec. Let's get back to quiz show round two. No dangerous weights over us this time. That is in Brigol Beach. Yeah, that's Quarry Heights. Where is this? That's also Brigol Beach. Uh, I think that's Bilge Haven. Yeah! Can I beat this game? Please don't beat the uh, blubber game. Oh, okay, the sheep is fine. Maybe it isn't. Okay, got it. Oh, wow. Alright. I was hoping it wasn't the blubber game. That is gold feathers, my man. Sounds like Grunty Industries to me. <laughs> Definitely not Mumbo's pad. Alright, we won. Power, it's time for you to see you on the tower. And, just like that, this is the final battle. The time has come to end this game. The future cannot be the same. Uh, to, do, to your destruction, you both race of bear and bird, I'll leave no trace. My victory will be most splendid when I rule all and your life's ended. <laughs> oh, f oh god. I need more health. Okay, so the way... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so the way this fight works is Grunty's going to do her thing, and then we're going to tackle... Well, we were going to tackle her. Uh, be right back. Alright, so we're back to the Grunty fight. And so the way that this works, like I was trying to explain earlier, is she's going to run around three times, we're going to hit her, and then she's going to spawn her ghost out of the robot, and then we attack the ghost directly. 
Uh, we can only damage make a grunty if we hit the ghost. But, uh... Still took some damage, so this is gonna be tricky just because of how little damage I- or how little available health I have. But it's fine, we got this. We can do it. We can do Mega Grunty. Oh no, okay. Still have one health. Oh, that's okay. Alright, okay. Got us back to this point. Now she's gonna be flinging magic at us, which is going to hurt. But that's okay. We got... We got the jams. Oh, she still hit us. Okay. Oh. Okay. Here we are again for the uh, magic round. Just gonna play Klungo with her. Should be fine. It's, uh, you know, it's the usual banjo thing of dodge the magic bolts and they're going to try to chase you. But for right now, I want to see if banjo's bare legs can deal with it. And there we go. Okay. We got, we got our stride going. I'm just going to be randomly running around again. Ugh. Not all that random, but you know. Ugh. Okay, I got her down to five. Come on, Grunty, what you got? Show me what you got, witch. She's got it. She's got it. She She's coming down. Okay, well, I think this got easier the longer the fight went on, but this should be... Oh, let's not overstate yet. Okay. All right. Oh. Alright, then she comes down, we bonk her, bonk that, what you got for me, Grunty? She doesn't really, okay, so the thing about that is she doesn't really, uh, she kind of sticks to a specific area, but right now we're playing run away from the thing, so Kazooie is the best suited for that. Get in the way of the grunty thing, and now we're going to play run away again. Run away from both her and the magic. Okay. All right, and with that, <laughs> we destroy the mecha grunty. Who finally? Although you've smashed my mecha suit, don't think you've given me the boot. Now I've trapped you on my tower. I'll crush you with my ghostly power. No, oh, don't guess the wrong one. If you guess the wrong one, you'll die. So yeah, you could just run in circles. And uh, here we are again. Uh, wow. You know, that's why I make a suit. Don't think you've given me the boot. Now I've trapped you on my tower. I'll crush you with my ghostly power. So you have to guess the right one. And it uh, is not immediately obvious. But just follow him. find the real one. I think it's the one that moves the fastest, which I guess would be you. It is! It is the one that moves the fastest. Okay, well that part's easy once you know what to look for, but I was never sure what it was. And guides online are not very clear with that. The ruin, it's all banjo. Kazooie's doing. Grunty, you can't rhyme ruin unless you, unless you contraction it. That's not a contraction, it's a... I don't know, but now this happens. Grunty's going to quack around. Looks like someone's quacking up. Oh, but mercifully, we have uh, defeated Grunty for the final time, maybe. Then she splooshed through the window and then flew out the back of the tower. All right. Well, Kazooie, it looks like we managed to foil Grunty's plans just in time. Now that she's defeated, we can finally get Mumbo to send us home. We shouldn't hang around. You never know what Gruntilda's planning next. 
Uh, and Grunty's ghost goes back to the rock that she's under in Spiral Mountain. I mean, this whole adventure was really for not much, but we managed to save Kazooie from being kidnapped, so that's fine. That Mecha Grunty just fell to bits. Those twits. Klungo, get here now. This defeat makes me feel s and be quick. This defeat makes me feel sick. Listen, Klungo, save your shoulder. You'll never shift this massive boulder. If you insist on getting blisters, first send a message to my sisters. And that is how we get, and we just automatically, and Bender just automatically knows. He's like, eh, no more controlling. I'm just gonna run back to Mumbo's pad. Baron Burn did pretty good job, but would never have done it without help from Mumbo. Glungo, lucky Gruntilda stuck under rock, which can't beat henchmen with mecha scraps. Ah. <sighs> Was, uh, quite something. And now Banjo and Kazooie go back to the present. Just in time for Banjo Tooie to start, probably. <laughs> From the look of things, Klungo's gonna go find Blavelda and Mingella, and that's where we're gonna end up. Look, Jinjos! Banjo, the Jinjos are free at last! We'll spread the news that Grunty's gone and we can reclaim our homeland! Thank you, Baron Bird! Whee! Oh, hi there, Banjo, Kazooie! Maybe the past is as it should be. Nothing has changed and the future looks bright. Shame all this had no effect on Mumbo. Speaking of Mumbo, I've gotta run. Bye! <laughs> Mumbo, stop. Your, your horny is turning into creepy. Wee, wee, wee! And the Jinjos fade out of existence, but they're really just teleporting. Oh, home at last. What do you say, Kazooie? You shuffle the cards while I call for bottles and the others. The other's just being Mumbo? I think it was just Mumbo. <laughs> we might even finish a game this time. <sighs> and Mumbo corners Honeybee in his house. Not not creep not uncreepy there, Mumbo. Mumbo want to learn bee dance. Mumbo's special transformation sometime. Whoa, calm it down, Mumbo. If you really want to learn to dance, oddly wholesome. If not, hmm. And that's our ranking. I don't really know what determines the ranking. We got four jiggies out of five. And other times I've seen it, it was also four jiggies out of five. But, who knows, maybe it was the number of deaths? <laughs> sure didn't have a small number of those. And there you can see the renders of all the characters. And we get to do one last slide. This slide's actually interesting though because we get to collect our extra credit coins, and I'll be, uh, showing, showing how, well, maybe I will. I don't know, we've already seen all the games. Really, you just take the coins to the, uh, K Reddit's machine in, uh, Bilge, Bilgewater Harbor, in, uh, Spiller's Harbor, and you can basically play any of the games you want, and, uh, if, if that's a thing you'd want to do. We just keep getting shredded on this slide. They basically put all the hazards here. And you get a whole bunch of coins. It goes on for a while. But, I don't know. I'm just gonna collect these coins. You can go back to... I showed where and what the Kiredits machine looks like. Um, so you know where it is if that's your if that's your forte. But, yeah. This was... It was nice to finally get all the way through this game. It, it feels a lot like a banjo game, like it just feels like a handheld banjo game. The top-down perspective was a little bit much, but as someone who lives and breathes the first two banjo games, it felt right at home to me. The sounds were all there, like the sound design was exactly the same, pretty much. Uh, a lot of sounds from Tui used. It Aesthetically, everything fit. The game is a little blurry for what it is. I, I mean, I don't want to, like too many complaints, but like looking at it for a while, it's kind of like, eh, that's a little much, but it could be that I have the screen enlarged, but who knows. Um, but it's good. I, I enjoyed it. It was a nice, quick little banjo adventure, and as someone who craves banjo adventures, that is okay by me. There are some other games I might do in the future that are banjo-esque, and while Nuts and Bolts isn't a game I like really want to visit. It's not off the table, and there's a lot to like in it. I'm not going to pretend like it's all bad. 
I really would like another actual banjo adventure that doesn't rely on a spiritual successor like ukulele. But ultimately right now it really seems like Rare doesn't either care to do that or to uh, pawn that work off on somebody else. Like, Greg Mills is basically like, eh, I don't want to touch banjo. And so I'm like, that's a little disappointing because you'd think there's plenty of studios that would be happy to make a banjo game given you know, the popularity and the legacy that it left. <sighs> but with that, I've just kind of rambled on about Banjo. Um, but I just wanted to thank you guys for sticking with me on this little adventure. Uh, I've had a lot going on lately, so my uploads have not been that regular. I really apologize. I had a very important loss in my family that I don't really want to get into in a video. I don't want to be that kind of downer, but it has been a real big change for all of us, so I appreciate everybody's patience um, as I've been trying to get back into it. But yeah, uh, the next project will be coming out soon. Uh, it's going to be in a familiar series. Most likely in a familiar series, but I'm I'm kind of shuffling around my schedule, so it expect it soon, whatever it is, and I hope you're looking forward to it. Um, this, uh, this has been fun, and I will see you guys next time. This is Grunty's Revenge, and take care.